which m is indicated by the first time graph shown below the change in momentum of the particle over the time interval from 0 to 8 seconds 0 to 8 second s okay so this i think um, uh, is a very uh, you know a direct application of the formula and uh, area under the graph of uh, ft graph right so what is the formula the formula says that delta p is equal to f into delta t right which means if delta p is plotted sorry if delta p uh, if f is plotted along y axis and delta t is plotted along x axis then area of the area under the curve is what we get as y into x so if you compare y as f so if you have a graph where the y axis represents force and x axis represents time and if there is a graph here which represents the ft curve then the area under this graph right this shaded region here what would this shaded region be equal to this shaded region will be equal to the area which is here delta delta p right so we have the graph here let us now find out the area so for those students who are at least here for the first time right I, I don't want to skip any steps here i want to make sure that you get the conceptual clarity clear that's why i'm going uh, in this in this depth so to make it even more clear what i'll do is i'll label these points as o o a b c d e f g and h okay so what is the area of OAB? Let us first find out. So uh, maybe, maybe what we can do is we can use different colors to highlight this area. So this is one color, another one. So we've got three, three area under the curves here, right? So let us first find out area one. Let us first find out area one. So uh, what is area one? Draw it if you have a confusion, right? Practice it a couple of times and then you don't you may not need to draw it, but in the initial stages, please do draw it. So we have zero A and B, right? And this distance is given to us as two. And A B from the figure is zero to six. This is six. Okay. So what is the area? Area is area of triangle area of triangle OAB which is equal to half into 2 into 6 which is 6. Now coming to area 2, area number 2 which is okay I'm, I'm, I'm gonna skip area number 2 for a second uh, I'll come back to it let us discuss area number 3, Just area number 3 okay so area number three goes like this y-axis x-axis it is three here it starts from e f g h isn't it e f g h so which is actually area of rectangle area of rectangle e f g h which would be equal to length into breadth say e h into into gh what is h measured as 4 to 8 so this is this much is 4 right and gh here would be 0 to 3 this is 3 so we have got 4 into 3 is equal to 12 now let us specifically discuss about area 2 so area 2 the curve is b right c d and E. So what is the area? Area is actually area of rectangle, area of rectangle BC DE, which is which is length into breadth. So let us say BC into CD. I'll write this separately here. BC into CD, which is equal to what's the measure of BC? See, BC here is 0 to 3, is 3, right? It's 3 into cd is cd is this much is 2 to 4 is 2 
But this is where most of the students make a mistake because if you observe the y-axis here, it is negative y. So BC corresponds to negative y, so it is 0 to minus 3. And therefore what you see BC here is minus 3. So what you get the second area is minus 6. In which case, in which case, if you add these three areas, what do you get? 6 plus minus 6 plus 12, which is equal to 12. Okay. Now look at the way how tricky, uh, you know, the, the options are. If you would have skipped this minus, I repeat, if you would have skipped this minus, then what would the answer look like? It would look like 6 plus 6 plus 12, which is equal to 12 plus 12, which is 24 which is option A. Yeah, so that, that remains that, that remains the case with almost every, uh, you know, uh, possible tricky MCQ question uh, to, to, you know, it will make you deceive uh, the correct option to be the first option. If not the one, then you know, if not the second one or third one. So yeah, that happens. But I was just trying to, uh, you know, um, make you feel cautious the next time you see questions over graph. Okay. All right, uh, so uh, students, let us now move on to the next question, the fifth question from the series.